welcome back to another video. In today's video, we'll be upgrading this trash can Mac to the latest version of Sonoma using the OpenCore Legacy Patcher. Welcome back to another video. So today we're gonna to be taking my Mac Pro late 2013 trash can Mac, which has Sonoma 14.2.1 installed on it, and we will upgrade it to 14.6.1. Hopefully this is a short video, but let's jump right into it. All right, so our first step is to get the latest OpenCore Legacy Patcher. So it looks like it's version 1.5.0. So let's go ahead and download that. Now technically we shouldn't need to build OpenCore Legacy Patcher, but we want to install it just in case something goes wrong so we don't have to try to download it somewhere else and get those root drivers that we need. So if we install the latest Mac OS Sonoma and it breaks the Wi-Fi card, breaks the network card drivers, then we would have to go out and get the OpenCore Legacy Patcher somewhere else, copy it to a USB drive and, and insert it into the machine. Not a huge deal, but uh, just doing it ahead of time does make things a lot easier. All right, so now that we have that, let's go ahead and open our OpenCore patcher. All right, and so now it's asking us if we want to update our OpenCore and root volume patches, which we do. So we will install that to disk. And I have just one single disk here. That's the EFI. And now we will update our root patches. So we'll start root patching here. All right, and we will return to the main menu. So I think we should be all set. So we can close patcher. Now we can go to system settings. general software update and we can see that Mac OS Sonoma 14.6.1 is available so we will just use the native tooling here and click update now we'll agree to the license terms and now it will download the installer for 14.6.1 all right and now that that's complete it's going to be preparing the Sonoma install all right so we came back and we're at this screen so we'll go ahead and log in Notice that the typing is very slow when I do this. The mouse cursor is very jumpy, but still connected. All right, and as expected, we're missing the root patches. So we just need to reinstall those to get everything back to normal. So we'll hit okay here. All right, and now we will reboot the machine. All right, and now we have our graphics back. We'll log in. Notice the keyboard is responsive once again. All right, and we should be reconnected to Wi-Fi. And we are. And we should be running 14.6.1. And that's it. Fairly simple, quick, painless, and easy to upgrade to the latest. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope this video has been helpful, and we will catch you in the next one. Hi guys! Make sure to like and subscribe and watch more of our videos later.